The champion weighs in at 169.4 pounds. Let's go! This fight's underway. Round one brought to you by Dragon Energy. It's the official energy drink of the EFC. In the white, Karimbo. In the black, Karim. See Karim, a natural southpaw. Very traditional kickboxing stance. Temba, very happy to keep switching stances. Lars got the underhook. Temba goes for the knee up the middle. Don't forget that Karim has got a nasty elbow on the disengagement. Temba very wary of that. Big swinging head kick missed from Karim. Great counter by Lyle Karam is Timber Garimbo. Moving in, moving out, great work by the champ. He always keeps up uh, a pace that's really, really hard to replicate and really hard to keep up with. Yeah, I mean, a lot of questions about Karam's cardio this last fight we had. Fighting altitude here in Pretoria, but he's come out a lot earlier from Australia to train at altitude here in Pretoria. A lot of people saying his cardio is going to be on point for this fight, and it really has to be, because Grimbo's the kind of guy who uses his cardio as a weapon. We've seen him face southpaws before, and he's pretty effective at that. He's very good at using low kicks from the leading right leg of southpaws. Lyle Karam doing a great job at countering. Hanging right in there, and we know he has been training with some killers in Australia. Also a great hotbed for talent. The continent, the country of Australia. You have an absolute MMA, what a wonderful gym in Melbourne. I mean, it really is the future of Australian mixed martial arts, and Lyle Karen's right in the middle of all of that. That being said, Temba Grimba, UMF. Ooh, a nice left hand. With Sylvester Chipfumbu, DeMarc Penner, a very fantastic growing camp here at Kyle Arming in Johannesburg. There's a nice short right, and Karen just smiles. A lot of patience from both lads. A lot on the line. Grimbo's first title defense, don't remember. Don't forget. Well, you know, the interesting thing about Cameron is that, like you said, he had opportunities to fight for a title in Australia uh, with the AFC, but he yeah. decided to go with the EFC. And you got to understand how special it is uh, to possibly win a title in one of the most premier organizations in the world today and right in front of his fans friends and family. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Tamba Goombo took Lyle Karam, because he actually kind of wanted to face what is in effect an international opponent. And we keep talking about how 2020 is the year in which Tamba Goombo ends up fighting either at the UFC or at Bellator. Oh, there's a big overhand by Lyle Karam that misses. Tamba ducks and returns with a counter of his own. I, mean, I, I agree with you. I think it's ridiculous if he doesn't get that opportunity. But we do know how the business works, and he does have to get this win. If he wants that opportunity, that's just reality. Oh, it's very rare that they're going to pick somebody up off of a loss. So, Tim Garimbo has to get this W if he wants to realize that dream. Otherwise, he's going to have to run through a few more opponents before he gets an opportunity like that. But it also so prideful to hold that title. I mean, to go back to Zimbabwe, like you said, Sportsman of the Year, um, pretty incredible. And to get that some good shots again, Cam Smart, but he's getting tagged a bit. No, indeed, there is a lot of stake for him, and no doubt about it. And you, I understand that you're one of those guys who believe that if you want to be the champion, you have to keep your belt for your first defense. It really is time that uh, if he keeps his belt for a couple of defenses, Tembogo needs to be moving overseas. He deserves a, a good shot at the UFC. He's been asking Sean Shelby quite a while for a couple of fights. He wanted to fight out in Busan in Korea for the UFC. The UFC has always had a very good relationship with the Las Vegas promotion. But also, that's a prospect that's not too far down Lark Cowan's road. This fight has a lot of permutations and getting into a fist fight of both lines. Oh, he's crossed Timber. That's it. Lark Cowan got through that defense. Timber Grimbo's up against the hacks. He's looking for a takedown and he gets it. So so it. Look, Cowan's going for the, the neck. neck. Looks like he's got it under, but I don't think it's in deep. No, I, I believe Grimbo's getting out of it. Grimbo's been in a situation oh, so many times, but it is it. He's got it cranked. Timber's trying to turn over and go off the side. It gets out. Fantastic survival skills for Timber Grimbo. Lyle Karam holding on to that left, left, left leg, not letting him get back up. What do we know the right about Semba is you cannot keep him down. Oh, he's so dangerous off his back, but really beautifully turned in to I'll the choke. He got rocked, though. He got stunned by Karam. He stopped went for the hole in his, his trap. Down, didn't he? he did the right thing. 
but now this is a very nasty position. We talked about Lyle Cairns, 10 seconds to go. Lyle Cairns' top game is suffocating. But wow, what a shot that was. Lyle Cairns getting through the defense of Grimbo with striking to put his opponent on the ground. So there it is, folks. Lyle Karam landed the most significant shot in the round. Is that enough to give him the round? I don't know. I mean, I think Grimbo answered. He bounced back. Give me your estimations on that one because that's going to be pretty close. That's tough to call, but I think in terms of damage, it might just go to Karam. I mean, if you want to talk about significant strikes, I mean, it was a. Karam got the takedown. It's a nice you know, the, right the interesting the thing is, you know, we talk about, you know, Grimbo, you would think, taking on the hometown guy, that he would be at the disadvantage. But Lyle Karam just having to deal with the aura of Grimbo and the hype that he brings. Indeed. It's a, it's a whole new level. I mean, Grimbo just walks around. Let's take a look. There's the big shot. That left hand was money in the bank. And to be fair to Tumba, though, the majority of that round, he was actually cracking Lyle quite a, quite a few times. And Lyle was smiling back at him. There was a couple of short right hands and some left hooks. At Tumba Grimbo was we don't like those smiles, though. Okay. Ready? Sometimes Ready? they don't really Back tell the, the story no. that the fighter Back. really wants to. So, I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people scored that first round pretty darn even. Yeah, you're right. I think you could win either way. Dragon Energy with round number two in this championship bout at EFC 84. Tumbo got a big right overhand that misses Lyle. Ducks and goes for the take time. Great timing. You kind of see a bit of a grin on Tempa Garimbo. Not a guy that's used to go into the ground. He's got a great rubber guard as Tempa. He's got the lock on. He's isolating the right arm as Lyle. He's got a very good Kimura off his back. Well, I mean, he's got the triangle, well, nice triangle. potentially. Now he's got the lock on. He's pulling down on the lock, back of Lyle's Does he head. have this? It doesn't look like he's get, getting enough torque on it. Now he's, he's also got his right arm trapped as well. Just hasn't got enough leverage to pull down on the back of Karen's head. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one to get. The platter is not on at the moment of Tender, Tender Garimbo. But he's certainly pulling down. You can see the flexor muscles on his left leg. So you know he's trying to get, keep the lock on. Lyle Karen very patient. Grimbo trying to wear down the hometown boy, Lyle Karam. This place is going to explode if either one of these guys win. Timba has a great fan base as well that travels with him and has made that drive from Johannesburg. Yeah, we've seen Timba Grimbo's position so many times before. He showed superior jiu-jitsu. And who can forget the grind he put down Ooh, on the Jose Now, now it's starting to get a little bit tighter. He's readjusted it. A bit. He's got the arm in, but it's not enough to actually trap the arterial nerve on the side of Karen's face. But he's not letting go of it. T Tembo's always one of those guys who's very active. He never just sits in a position. He likes to stay active and look for further submissions. Keeps hunting, looking from side to side at times. Very cool and calm. He's just having a bit of a breather here. Some elbows to the top of the head. Yeah, Karen's not desperation by any means. He looks comfortable in there. It's just he's trying to figure a way out of this. And maybe this is it, or maybe he just got to go. He's it up but at the same time very respectful the sportsmanship at an all-time high right. and there we go your restonic replay and he just kept easy 
Clark had that difficulty. A lot put him in a lot of difficulty. Really got Tampa discombobulated. And I want to say that the bell saved Tampa Grim to a certain extent, but really, Lark Aaron got the takedown, and Tampa Grimbo dangerous off his back. We've seen it so many times before. And he had the triangle and kept the lock on. You could see from his muscles that Tampa was Grimbo was keeping it tight, pulling on the back of Lark Aaron's head, trying to get the triangle choke in and slowly adjusting like a python. Slowly suffering, suffocating Lyle Carrum. Fantastic performance on both lads. Let's get it, make it official now. Send it up to Cyrus. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ferdy Bassan calls a stop to the contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number two. Your winner by tap out to the triangle choke and still EFC welterweight champion, Tampa, the answer, go! Well, there's a man there who also deserves a belt to Mark Penner. Uh, Tamba, your first title defense, and boy, he put you in some difficult positions, but wow, what a fantastic title, title defense. You've got to be happy with that performance. Uh, thank you, Simon. I appreciate you. Uh, but for me to keep achieving what I want to achieve, I have to be grateful of the people around me. The UMF clients. The, uh, I don't believe in fans because fans come and go. If you support me enough, you become friends, family, or it's still a supporter, but I appreciate each and everyone that supported me tonight. That is here, that is at home, around the world. If you had your heart believing in me and supporting me tonight, I appreciate you. With you guys, my appreciation to you will get me where I want to. And I appreciate you, Simon. I appreciate EFC. Cairo, I love you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can ask another question, brother. What do you have to say to Dana White and Sean Shelby now, Timber? Look, um, I was ready to fight in South Korea. They opted for a local guy in South Korea, which is cool, I understand. But for Africa to be involved in this sport, it needs a true African, a guy that survived Africa, that knows Africa is about. I come from rural areas of Zimbabwe, man. Masingo, Bikita, Kwamfut, it's a rural, rural area, you know? The only way I can inspire Africa is by me going all the way and becoming a UFC champion in the UFC. And by doing that, I can inspire all these people, man. Everybody that, hey, with true hard work, self-belief, you can go all the way. And that's what we need to do. Sean Shabby, I know you know what we're going to do next week. Some emails, brother. And yeah, let's get it going. Uh, EFC fans, uh, sorry, I didn't thank my coaches. My coaches, Coach New. Coach Nomeva, Sylvester, Coach Sloan, my friend, Coach, I don't know what I can call you, everything. My wife, I love you. My daughter as well, man. I appreciate everyone in my life. And my family members, you see them shouting. I, I did something, then they believe in me. And I appreciate EFC fans. Guys, you guys supported me from the day I stepped in here, in 2013 to this day. You support this organization. And please continue doing so. But for now, like Kobe Bryant said, Mamba is out. Thank you. Victoria, give it up for Temba. The answer, Garimbo. I just have a quick word with Lyle Karam. Lyle, it's difficult to believe this is your first professional loss. There's still a long way for you to go in mixed martial arts. Yeah, it was uh, disappointing. I'm just glad I got to come out here and perform for everyone here in Pretoria. So I'm just happy to be here. Put on a show for everyone here tonight. It's awesome. It looks packed in here. I hope everyone had a good time tonight. Yeah, it's always good to be here. I just got a quick question for you. I know the Aussies want you to go fight, fight back in Melbourne. I know AFC want to fight you back, but I want you to come back to Pretoria and come back with a win. Would that be all right? Yeah, I'd be happy to be back here. Yeah. I love performing in front of Pretoria. I love performing in front of South Africa. This is my family. I, just, I love it here. Can't wait to see you back. Congratulations, a great performance. Lol Karam, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I mean, absolutely scintillating. What a win, as you can see, walking a little gingerly, but what a win by Timba Garimbo, who put the squeeze on. Squeezing out that victory, that triangle choke. And now, who knows what is next for Garimbo, but that was an absolute dominating performance, a Mamba-like performance, by putting up 81 in Toronto. Timba Garimbo finishes 
Lyle Karam. An unbelievable performance from the reigning undisputed welterweight champion, Temba Garimpo. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to follow us on social media to stay up to date with the latest EFC news and info.